Hello and welcome to Set Maniacs. Today I'm going to be showing you about the new Windows 7 beta. It's called Windows 7 Release Candidate 1. This is it here. Um, it runs fairly fast uh, uh, and p my friends who are using it say that it um, works fine on networks and stuff like that. So it should be fine for all systems. First you need to go into Google I need to type in Microsoft Windows 7 RC1. Then here we go, uh, Windows 7 Release Candidate Customer Preview Program. So just click on it, and you come to this page. You just need to scroll down, and it says uh, you don't need to rush. You know it's going to be at least available through J July, but you know you should download it just in case they do get rid of it. Now, uh, the difference between 32 and 64-bit versions. Well, normally, uh, uh, no, all dual cores, quad cores, and all the new. Um, processors are 64 bit but some older single core ones might not be so if it's let's say an Athlon 64 well it is 64 bit but you know you can just check okay then um, so what 64 allows you to do is address more memory so you can have more RAM right I think the limit for 32 gigabyte uh, for 32 bit is 4 gigabytes uh, where 64 can be more anyway uh, so you just select which one you want to download and click go We need to new site, um, uh, and you just need to tap in your email address. That was my old one, by the way, uh, so don't bother sending stuff to it. And um, once you signed in, I can't sign in because I've already downloaded on uh, my Hotmail account. I use that one because that's the only one I've got. I use Google Mail. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, and then it will give you a key. Write it down on some paper because you won't be able to get onto your computer if you're installing it and then it asks you to down and then you can download the operating system itself which is about three gigabytes so it might take some time depending on your internet speed um, yeah and then you just have to burn it onto a disk using uh, an ISO burner now you can find loads of these uh, free ISO burner and there's loads of ISO burners just choose your pick I think uh, yes I use this one yes so that one works fine and I recommend doing it at four times um, you know it asks you what speed you want to write at uh, yeah burn speed uh, put it at four times it's less likely to have an error now I've got several operating systems and I found that if I do it at a high speed sometimes it doesn't always um, work so do it four times uh, and then you can partition your system you just go right click and manage this works on Vista uh, as well or you can use your own partition uh, program it doesn't matter right uh, disk management it takes a while because I haven't been on this uh, yet on Windows 7 so uh, it has to load all the drives up but um, here we go so here you can see all my partitions all you have to do is right click and go oh too big uh, shrink volume there you go uh, you click on that uh, you choose it or query you choose what size you want the news partition to be and you partition it and then when you're installing Windows 7 you just have to um, select your language uh, etc and click install now and then it will um, ask you where you want to install it and you just have to select the partition like you like I'm, I pre name these like Windows 7 or XP so I know exactly which one I want to pick so all you have to do is um, install it on there um, let it install you can just leave it um, uh, and come back to it it will reboot a couple of times but remember if you want to get it to boot off your CD uh, off your CD drive if you don't know how to do this when you first boot up your computer it, you know it comes up with a screen um, like with some company's name on it that's the BIOS screen you just press delete just keep on hitting delete when you boot up your computer and it bring you onto the BIOS now um, some biases are different. You just need to uh, search around your 
uh, BIOS until you find uh, boot um, boot options or boot priority or something like that and just make sure the CD drive is first um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to private message me on uh, uh, my uh, TechManix account uh, please subscribe to my videos and thank you for watching